What's your name, sir? Jacob. Jacob, how'd you about this way? Uh, walking over here, uh, drug use, trying to get clean off of drugs, and uh, didn't work, and so I found uh, it pretty easy to find drugs out here, so I ended up staying in this area for the last few weeks. Tell me about your childhood, man. Uh, the, the mom was a uh, substance abuser, user. And she left us at a friend's house and she, maybe she couldn't take care of us or she wanted a better life for us uh, due to her drug use. Uh, I don't know which one it is, you know, but... Uh, you know, I'm grateful. I was uh, put into a foster care, adopted into a good family. Blessed to be able to do things I've done in life, but my perspective on life is kind of twisted because of things that happened in my life. So uh, I eventually started using drugs to escape like my reality was going on in my life. You know, I don't like the way I'm feeling. Uh, I don't like the way being at home feels as a kid. So I would, before drugs, it was like video games and things like that. So leaving my house, my parents' house, to go play games at my friend's house every day. So that behavior turned into drugs, you know? So, what were you trying to escape from with the drugs? Uh, like pain and... Uh, I don't know what the right word would be, insecurities, being lied to about certain stuff. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Were you abused as a child? Uh, sometimes, like, like with uh, physical violence, uh, once in a while, you know, but uh, more verbally abused, you know, uh, yelling and uh, talk down to, calling names and uh, intimidation type abuse. Uh, no, like s sexual stuff going on? A uh, couple times, yeah. Uh, it wasn't like uh, full on uh, somebody like kidnapping me, raping me type thing. You know, it was just uh, situations where this person wants to do this, you know, and being a kid, you know, I thought it was okay, you know, and then. Uh, Really? How old were you when this was going on? Shoot, I can't. Like little guy, like toddler? Uh, one of them, yeah. Uh, the one I was a little older. Uh, but I can't really remember the ages. I don't have a... But I'd probably say like three... Six and ten or something at least. Was it with a relative? Uh, one was a neighbor down the street, and then uh, one was a somebody's kid at a baseball park, like a softball field. Uh, uh, yeah. So I could see what I would push you to uh, to self-medicate. So w when did you start doing drugs? Uh, ninth grade. Yeah, like the middle of ninth grade or so. Uh, I started smoking weed. When did it move on to the heavier stuff? Uh, uh, when I was at the end of like high school, I got expelled my senior year. Uh, I started like trying cocaine and stuff like that with my friends, ecstasy and cocaine. And uh, they eventually showed me what uh, meant was. And I started doing that for a few years. Kind of like lost my mind, paranoid, thinking people were coming after me. Uh, all kinds of crazy thoughts in my head. And uh, I went to rehab a few times uh, for it. 
Now I try not to use fentanyl. How'd you get associated with fentanyl? Uh, I was a heroin addict, a uh, our heroin, and uh, I don't want to press you if you can't answer the questions, but oh, sorry, it's okay. It's okay. What did you ask me? I'm just asking, how, how did the fit not come into play? Oh, sorry. I was like, thinking about something. Uh, when yeah. were you introduced to fit now? I was using uh, heroin and, and uh, a couple of my friends were smoking fit now and stuff, and uh, I had found some uh, heroin with fentanyl in it. <laughs> so uh, this this number I call is a, a needle exchange. They give you clean needles so you don't like spread diseases or use old ones or you know just for safety and stuff. And uh, I had these test strips to test your heroin for fentanyl. Is it for a little while they're like mixing them and. Uh, I found out that some of this stuff had fentanyl in it, and then I kind of moved to doing fentanyl because the heroin I was doing was no good, and I felt like I was wasting my money. So I was like, you know, why not just do fentanyl? And, uh, Can you explain to like the people out there the difference in highs? Like, is fentanyl like a, a more extreme high than heroin? Do you feel yourself not not more on, on fentanyl than heroin? Yeah, a lot quicker. Uh, the heroin, you know, uh, you can still function and stuff, you know. Uh, you'll be like naughty now, like you said, but you're still functioning and stuff. But the fentanyl is usually a lot stronger. It puts you right to sleep, you know. Like most people like to enjoy, like they call it their naughty, you know. Yeah, they lean forward. And like, you know, they're still, you're still conscious, you're still awake, you know, but they're nodding like that, so they enjoy that. What's the appeal of it? Like, is the high, like, like ecstasy? Or like, is it like, it just calms you? Uh, <clears throat> it kind of calms you, it gives you, for me, it helps me like, move and give me energy, like, my body, like, from the, the painkiller side of, uh, pit on, uh, yeah, that's, a. Uh, do you feel like you can ever get off this stuff? Yeah. It's just going through the withdrawals is tough, you know, and uh, a lot of, some people like vomit and they like, get diarrhea and stuff like that from. Uh, Have you ever overdosed on this stuff? Yeah. How many times? Twice. Twice? What was that like? You just took too much? Or was it just a bad cut? What was the first time like? Uh, I remember the first time that I went to the liquor store and I had like $200 out of my wallet missing. And uh, I go back to my friend's camp area and ask them hey, what happened. And they're like, oh, you overdosed. And my whole chest was sore right here. So uh, I guess they had been trying to revive me. Yeah. So, uh, the first time, I don't even know what happened at all. Uh, yeah. And the second time uh, is in Palm Springs. Tell me about that. Oh, I haven't been smoking for a while. I was clean. Uh, and I was talking to this chick I met out there. And I, I kind of got uh, irritated and mad and stuff. And uh, she told me something I didn't want to hear. And then these guys that hang out with her, they had some fentanyl. And I was like, oh, let me hit that shit. And uh, she's my So I took like one big hit. And I felt like high, you know, head change. And then uh, I took another small little hit, a tiny hit, compared to the first one I took. And it made me OD. And I woke up in the hospital. 
like gravel and dirt in my hair, all over my clothes and everything in the bed. And then I was like, what the heck happened? Like, oh, you need. What do you do on her to make money? Uh, chef, try and fly a sign. Uh, like, there's room though, there's more gas stations, so I can like wash windows and, you know, do what I need to do there. Uh, it's a, washing windows is cool, you know, because I'm doing something, you know. Yeah. I'm not just holding a sign, asking for money. Do you, what, what, do you have to do anything sexual to make money? Uh, sometimes people want you to, you know, but I, I try not to, you know. Have uh, you ever had to do something like that? Uh, never had to, but um, people have tried to pressure me to, you know. Yeah. And, uh, I yeah. don't, I don't, uh, I don't like getting into situations like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like associate with something like that, you know? Like I don't want to be around that, you know? Like, I've known people like that that sell drugs, you know? That, uh, you know, somebody wants to get attacked and be, that's how they, uh, a couple of chicks and stuff, you know, or or males too, right? Yeah, and it's like, man, that's freaking, that's sad, you know. Like you're you're making them do this just to get their drugs, you know. Like, and uh, you know, it's like other dudes' girlfriends and stuff, you know. Like uh, the homie comes with his girlfriend to pick up off this homie, and uh, they need a sack another time. Like a few weeks later, they need some drugs, and. Uh, he hits up that dude's, or that dude's girlfriend and hits him up to get something. And he's like, oh, do this and I'll give it to you. And she's like, they don't care if it's your friend's girlfriend or whatever, you know. Like, it's kind of messed up sometimes. Hey, man, you stay strong out here, man. We just hope that the supplies and the food we gave you can sustain you for another day, man. You just stay Thank strong and, 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 and hopefully you can come back and, 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 you know, beat this demon that you have. And, we're here for you. If you ever see us, just talk to us. We'll help you out the best we can, man. Okay. You know, you take care of yourself, sir. Thank you. Take care.